Hi Frank and Sue. When last I videotaped I was demonstrating to you how I uh, get the hammers to travel vertically by using a straight edge against the hammer and uh, tilting the hammer shanks using travel tape on either side of the hammer flanges. In this little video I'm going to show you this jig here which is what I used initially when your action came to me. This is a jig for setting up an action and uh, marking the original string lines off the old hammers. So when I first got your action in here I held up your hammers, your old hammers, and I marked where the strings had cut the hammers. This tells me of course the position of all the, all the strings in your piano. And so now all I have to do is take these hammers, hold them up to the same marks, and use those old marks to guide me in spacing these hammers before I bring this back to your piano in San Francisco. Some of the spacing here is really, really far off. As you can see here, I'd barely be touching the bass strings. And the reason is, of course, I didn't have a real reference when I was just screwing these hammers back onto the action frame. So, of course, these plexiglass plates here that are put on um, these adjustable shelves that I've uh, designed into this jig, uh, these will act as my guide for regulating and spacing your hammers and um, hopefully getting it close enough that when I get it to your piano in San Francisco we won't be too far off when I do the fine regulation of your piano. This is just the first stage of regulation, what Steinway would call regulation one. After this, after I've regulated the action the first time, then I'm going to weigh it off. I'm going to be changing the lead weights that you find in your keys. Uh, and you see those lead weights are here. You've got quite a number of lead weights here in the base. I expect to reduce that number considerably. Um, and so this jig and uh, the procedures that follow here are now all really in preparation for me to ship this action back to you. Okay, so I'm going to call it quits here and uh, get on with this job. Bye.